What's up, everybody? Welcome back to The Art of Saves Coming. I hope this video finds you well. And I know that I haven't posted in like a week or so, and that's because I was on vacation. So we're going to cover something that's relatively low impact today, pretty easy to take care of so I can get something up on the channel. And today we're going to be talking about the Magma Cannon. And I think that uh, I've seen the Magma Cannon get a bad rap in a few places on the internet, and I kind of wanted to uh, do my take on the Magma Cannon. So uh, what I've got here is a basic army that you would have as Chaos Dwarves. You'll have to spend a little bit of armaments to get uh, the the extra two Magma Cannons, but not a whole lot. And then, you know, you start with two Chaos Dwarf units, so uh, the rest of it's just Hobgoblins, and it's just to fill the roster, really. And what we're going to be doing is going up against an army of Greenskins, which is going to be an army composition that you see quite a bit in the early game as the Chaos Dwarves. But uh, I've loaded it very heavy on the archers because that's one of the dangerous units in the uh, the greenskin roster in the early campaign. And so what I want to do is show you how I use the magma cannons to manage the enemy army. And the first thing that we're going to do is set up kind of on a little bit of an incline here. We don't really care about this space too much, although we're going to probably have some problems with these trees. So we're gonna try and move this whole formation over a little bit to um, compensate for the fact that there are a bunch of trees there. We have some time until the enemy should be here. So uh, what we're gonna do is first, let the magma cannons target whatever it is that they want because uh, they start out just shooting at, taking pot shots at whatever is coming, that's fine especially when those units are sort of in the trees like that because they're not likely to to hit anything anyway. So they're, especially if we're forcing it to fire on some things because uh, they're just going to pick a different target if it's obstructed. So it, to start out with, we're just going to, again, let them pick whatever target it is they want while I, while I manage this army. And uh, these... Archers, we're, we're going to try, I'm going to try my best in this video not to focus fire the archers on anything. We might have to do a little bit, but for the most part, uh, we want to focus on the magma cannons here. And I think that the true value of the magma cannon, if you look at it, is it can do some good work against lords and heroes and things like that, but it has a lingering impact in that it will take out a portion of that uh, that unit and then sit there and burn for a little bit. And if that unit is sitting static, then the formation tries to collapse in on itself. And particularly when we're talking about low armored units like archers, the potential to route that unit is pretty high. Now we would, in most situations, want to focus fire this group here, but that's not the point of this video really. So what I'm gonna do is start focus firing on these archers. And because they are eventually going to become a static unit in a back line, that's when we can do a ton of damage. But we can mitigate the amount of damage that they're going to do to us in the short term by targeting them while they're moving. So that's not probably not going to be enough. No, oh, that might be enough to route that unit. But as you can see, we've got consistent... Yeah, we routed it. So as these units come back, we want to focus fire on them as they start coming back. Because then they never make it to that line once they're routed. See see the kind of damage that we're doing on this unit in the back line? That, that unit's going to route. So whoever was shooting at it, we're going to have it shoot at that. That unit's going to route. We're, we're trying to keep any of their archer units from ever being able to really do a whole lot of damage to us. And that's, that's the main goal. Of course, our army is going to do work while it's, um, uh, so here's a good one, right there. We're going to keep the fire of those archers, so this is a nice static unit. If it makes it through that tree, it'll give a really good example of, of what can be done. Boom. You see that? That that unit's going to route. As it collapses down, those new units run into that burning pyre, if you will, and it really keeps them from being able to uh, make any consistent presence on the battlefield because they're constantly being routed. So 
Uh, here's a unit that's going to be coming back after we route. That's a that's one that looks like it's going to get two units. So that one's currently shooting it. That's good. Let's have it shoot at that one. And you know what? We're going to have to focus fire this with because the, there's just too many trees right there for them to to get that. Huh, made a liar. Well, no. Yeah, see, it, it didn't. It hit that tree there. So that's one of the things you have to watch out for with the uh, the magma cannon. Is very likely to hit a tree if it's if it's up close because it is a direct fire unit. Although if you're shooting really long range, it, it can have a pretty decent firing arc. But uh, in this instance, we're we're going up against an army that's targets are going to close in pretty close. And therefore, we're we're not going to be able to uh, to really leverage that power because of these trees here. So who's shooting at that one in the back? This guy doesn't have a target. And you can do the same thing with the melee infantry units, but the, the big uh, focus here is going to be. Uh, those archer units in the back. So that one's coming back, uh, although that one's probably not going to be able to hit it because of those trees. And I think that you'll see that we're going to have between 150 to 350 kills, depending on how well the um, how well the targeting was for uh, those cannons, depending on the terrain with these uh, with these trees. You'll see a spread on those cannons. But I'm expecting a, a good number is 350 kills. See that? That little tree right there just took us out. Obviously, uh, that is one of the other major criticisms of the uh, magma cannon is that they're so slow that you can't really move them around the map a whole lot. And even though they've, they've broken through our line right here, I'm not doing a very good job managing this. Sort of, kind of on purpose to kind of just highlight that you can do this really badly and still win a battle like this. Simply by managing their uh, units that are worth a lot. Blobs. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah, see, there we go. Army losses. Again, the true value is that the Magma Cannon does something like that and then all those units try to collapse down and end up getting caught in that fire. And that's why it's really useful on those units that are stopped. Any unit that is stopped that you can put a good hit on is going to take much more damage than one that is moving. So actually, what I would probably do in this instance is I would focus fire these cannons on the front unit so that anything that is in, these, in this back unit here does have to run through that anyway. And let's see if we get a good shot of that. Next up, I'm going to be working on a strongest start campaign for Zatan, and I know that the general consensus is that Zatan's got a pretty cushy start, but I've got a way to push the envelope on that campaign and make it super strong. So if you want to see that, then please consider giving the channel a sub because we're trying to get to that point where we can achieve the partner status, get the early content, be able to analyze it at a level that uh, gives you the best information going into the updates when you have access to them. Thank you all again for watching The Art of Saves Coming. Hopefully we'll see you on another video here in the imminent future.